What's up, gamers? Welcome to the show, right? Keep you guys updated on the latest in gaming news. But before we get into today's gaming news, it's time for the clip of the day. Clip of the day. A few moments later. Twelve seconds later. Twenty minutes later. Six hours later. Many months later. So yeah, that was our clip of the day for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of a longer clip of the day for today, but now let's get into our first news report of today's show. And our first news report of the day is about the Xbox One, and specifically about Xbox One on Windows 10. Because today, Microsoft announced that Windows 10 will be launching officially on the 29th of July. And along with all the main features of Windows 10 that we can expect that aren't really gaming related, one feature in particular is actually pretty cool and it's the Xbox One app that's going to be a part of Windows 10. Basically the app included with Windows 10 is going to act like a sort of extension from our Xbox Ones to our PC. Some of the cooler features of the app include the ability to be able to stream games straight from the Xbox One onto our PCs but it's also going to allow us to use Xbox Live on our computers so things like Xbox Live Messaging, the inbuilt Xbox One DVR and a whole bunch of other features from the Xbox One as well. One thing that's also pretty cool about this is that Windows 10 10 is actually completely free to upgrade if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8. And pretty much if you upgrade and install it, you're not going to lose any of your data or any of your saved games or files that you currently have on your PC because they're just going to carry over onto Windows 10, which is actually really cool because that's sort of one reason that I hate upgrading because I don't want to have to reinstall all of my games and programs and everything. And with Windows 10, we won't have to worry about it. But personally, for me, I'm sort of sitting on the fence with this. Like I'm not too sure if I want to upgrade just in case. I hate Windows 10, but then again, the Xbox One app is sort of making me want to upgrade because it's going to make sending messages and invites and everything a whole lot easier because I won't have to do it through the actual Xbox One. And having a sort of dedicated app on my PC would actually be really cool. But what are you guys thinking about this whole Windows 10 free upgrade thing? Are you guys going to upgrade to it, especially because of the Xbox One app? Or are you guys happy with Windows 7 or 8 and you don't really care about upgrading it, even if it means you can pretty much run your Xbox One through your PC? PC. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm pretty curious as to what you guys are thinking about Windows 10 and whether you think it's worth upgrading or not. But moving away from Windows 10 and on to our next news report of today's show. And it's about GTA 5 because Rockstar has been pretty quiet with their updates for quite a while now. But today they announced the next update for GTA 5 Online coming next week. The update's going to be called the Ill-Gotten Gains update and it's part one of the two-part update. Part one of the update's going to include a whole bunch of new luxury vehicles, including the Buckingham Swift Deluxe Helicopter and a Luxor, brand new luxury cars, and a whole lot of new clothing items as well. Now, we don't have an exact release date for when this update's coming out. All we do know is that part one is coming out next week, and then part two for this update is going to be coming out later in the summer. So that's pretty good news for GTA 5, especially if you've been hanging out for some new stuff to be added to the game. But now to our third and final news report of today's show. And today, Crystal Dynamics Dynamics released a brand new trailer for the rise of the Tomb Raider. Now this trailer is not really a full trailer, it's more of a teaser trailer for what's to come at E3 this year, but it's still a pretty cool trailer. Along with the trailer, we were also given the box art for the game, but we still haven't been given an exact release date yet. What I'm guessing is that the exact release date will no doubt be announced at E3 with a whole bunch of new footage and information for this year's Tomb Raider. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to this game and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well, but if you want to go check out the full trailer, it will be down in in the description below but that's going to be it for today's gaming news hope you guys enjoyed the show thanks for watching and stay gaming
official dates for Steam's massive summer sale through a couple of weeks over a social media website. Basically, the post indicating the date for the Steam sale were leaked through a Russian social networking website that's run by Valve itself. And in the post, the dates indicate that the Steam sales...